it's April 23rd and this is my organic permaculture garden as you can see there's a lot of squash growing on the trees up the trellises and the fence I have a few big squash here there's one really big one I'll be picking that one soon and I have some uh, borage and eggplant that's starting to grow I just planted that you can see there's marigolds that are planted around the perimeter I have some cucumbers and some zucchini and nasturtium flower right there over here we have a dinosaur kale and this is a false rizel it's an edible hibiscus plant have the curly kale another huge squash and <clears throat> some royal burgundy beans some cabbage these are contender beans they grow very quickly they love to be picked very tasty and you can see I believe this is the zucchini that's growing I forget what this is we have some cucumbers lemongrass great for cooking and makes a good tea some more beans over here as you can see the the Russian comfrey is growing really well it's uh, cultivar number 14 grows amazingly well we have some Cuban oregano kale sun hemp I'll show you some more developed ones in a moment wow the Mexican sunflower is really growing it should get higher and we'll have some beautiful sunflowers very soon a little moringa that's starting up some more nasturtium flowers these these are going to be edible flowers a little spicy and along the fence I've been weaving the squash you can see the squash is on the grapefruit tree I have some grapefruit that are growing it's starting to get big they wind through here more squash I mean look at this this is just huge Moringa tree. It's highly nutritious. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. Uh, I have Thai basil planted throughout the garden, as well as mint and oregano to help deter pests. <laughs> and this squash is just hanging from the orange tree. have some oranges here Oop. I love it this guy's ready to be picked as well as we walk through here we have Swiss chard and as well as we have some radishes oh that one's creeping out that's ready to be picked actually I'll pick it right now that's a good one. Nice. Roast those up. They're so tasty. 
Katuk. This is a an edible leaf. I think it tastes a little bit like peanut. And as we go through here, some marigolds are just popping up. This is the Radish, you can see that it's starting, it's about ready to come out. I'm not going to take it out right now, but the daikon radish is very good. We have some gherkin cucumbers popping up, starting to flower. Again, I, I'm training the the squash to go up the trellis. There's another big squash. It's growing all the way up onto the roof. Have my rain barrel set up, and I put a pump in there, and just I can use that to water the garden. As we go through here, there's more squash. We have some very productive collards. Some more collars right here. Um, then we have chayote squash, chayote um, cayenne pepper. That's about ready. Some green ones here. And little babies. Um, some more daikon radish. Big cabbage that's growing. And more daikon, whole row here of cow. Plenty of cow for people if they want some cow. And carrots. And some Thai basil, again in the perimeter. Help deter bugs. And tomatoes are growing really well. Sunchoke. That is going to produce beautiful flowers, and then there's going to be a, a, a tasty root vegetable that will be growing in the soil. I have papaya tree here, some more nasturtium, and then there's sweet potato, some zucchini. And then along this arch here, I have the Star David okra. Now this could easily grow, I think about four or five feet tall. Um, I planted some mung beans as well. And these mung beans are a Chinese bean, very easy to digest, high in protein. And I'm gonna try to train them to grow up the okra when the okra gets taller. So this is the banana circle, and the banana circle has a compost pile in the center. It keeps going down. I keep throwing in scraps and, and brown leaves and just leaves just that I pick from the garden that have broken or fallen down. Just put all that in there. And then the rain gutter is right there. It flows down, the water flows down during a rainstorm and goes in here. And that water helps feed these bananas. Some uh, dwarf Cavendish bananas. And in the mound, I just plant lots of uh, root vegetables. I got sweet potatoes, I have cassava here. And uh, there's some arrowroot that I grew. And all of that can dig up from the mound these root vegetables um, at the end of the summer. This is Mexican, this is a Mexican plant, uh, chaya. You can eat these leaves, you just have to boil them. And beautiful sun hemp. This is a nitrogen fixator. You can see the beautiful yellow flowers and helps infuse nitrogen into the soil.
for the bananas. Uh, there's some ginger that's growing in here, but it's just popping up. It's not, not even close to producing leaves yet. This is the Seminole pumpkin. Uh, there's also some Seminole pumpkin over here. You can see the, that white in the striations there. You can tell that's a Seminole pumpkin. Have cactus. Some new shoots are coming up. Uh, this is going to be dragon fruit. This has been growing very quickly over the past few weeks. We have black eyed peas here. Uh, beautiful Swiss chard, rainbow chard leaf. Some more kale. And the kohlrabi. This is a mix between broccoli and uh, I forget. Broccoli and cauliflower or something like that. Have some peppers. Eggplant. No, it's just popping up. I plan to have a trellis where it can grow up. Uh, we have watermelon. That's just starting. And then there's some cantaloupe and honeydew. I have a peach tree. It's a beautiful peach here that's it's still hard. I'll probably keep it on there a little bit longer, but hopefully the squirrels don't get to it. Then I have a row of arrowroot here again. And that will produce some root vegetables for me. Got a whole patch of aloe as well and a patch of bromeliads plenty of them if anybody wants some they are welcome I've been adding a lot of mulch to the yard I still have a huge pile here that I'm getting rid of the mulch is a, suppresses the weeds and the grass it keeps the roots cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter when the rain falls down, it hits the mulch first and then trickles into the soil so it prevents any loss of soil when it rains. And it retains the moisture in the soil and then it breaks down fairly quickly in the Florida weather so it will infuse the soil with nutrients. In here, I have plenty of some strawberries growing. Uh, pigeon pea, I'm going to plant this tree soon. I got a mulberry as well as a lemon. As you can see some of these are growing pretty well. Um, this is my stone herb garden that I built and in here we have some Okinawa spinach which you can eat. This one has the purple back. Uh, got rosemary and some more different variegated uh, Cuban oregano, uh, Thai basil flowering some more basil these greens are about ready to go some blackberries we have to plant those lemon balm is popping up and we have this uh, cactus all these new shoots are coming up you can eat these you can just chop them up put them into a salsa or just eat them plain we have pineapple guava uh, Jabba de Caba, sweet, um, sweet sop, uh, sugar apple tree, and there's plenty more here growing. And this is just a quick update of the garden. And hopefully, in a few weeks, we'll give you another update. Um, just a quick walkthrough again, just to show you what it looks like right now. I'm going to have some fruit trees that will be lined across here to join my loquat tree. Again, this is what it looks like.
Oh, I have some sugar cane as well, black sugar cane. So that's the garden. See you again in a few weeks.